high in the future, and we have great expectations for them. And they are members of uh, the group Developing Tomorrow's Professionals. And we want to present these young men. And here for that honor, please welcome to the podium Mr. Kurt Oberon, who is the founder of Developing Good evening. My name is Kurt Overton. I'm the provost at West Haven High School. And uh, I'd like to start by thanking Mrs. Brown and the West Haven Black Coalition uh, for putting a spotlight on these young men. Um, they were really phenomenal. I look at them as goodwill ambassadors, and I take these guys against anybody. They, they really are phenomenal, so I'm glad they're being recognized this evening. Uh, they're part of a program called Developing Tomorrow's Professionals. Uh, Dr. Stephen Pope with the state of Connecticut education. Um, he's, he was going to be here to speak. He runs the program. He does a phenomenal job. And the biggest part of the job is commitment. And these young men have really learned the value of commitment. And uh, I certainly appreciate that. Um, aside from Mrs. Brown and the West Haven Black Coalition, I also would like to thank uh, some of our mentors. We've had mentors who are not looking for recognition, but one in particular, uh, Mr. Sean Brown. He's helped out for the past five years, and thank you to Mr. Brown. So I'd like to start by calling up the first young man, Christopher Shannon Wagner. country wrestling, lacrosse, future business leaders of America, distinguished gentlemen, community activities include volunteering for youth basketball and wrestling as a coach. He's a member of the Faith, Faith Baptist Church. Uh, he's done fundraising for Project Smile. Uh, he currently works at Best Buy. Uh, he's been awarded uh, some honors. He's on the honor roll at school. And he's wrestling team captain in 2010. They won the uh, conference championship. He was also awarded the most improved wrestler. The Carl Being Excellent Award at West Haven High School. His planned major and career goals include being involved in the science field after graduating from a four-year university. And he feels that he can change many lives all over the world. His favorite goal of leadership is the ability to get men to do what they don't want to do and like doing it. First, he admires most is his father, who's here tonight, who's also served as a mentor, Mr. Blackman. And Christopher says he admires his father because he makes sure to put others before himself always. He does what's best for the family, even if it's not in his best interest. And he lets his principles of a man be clearly known, and he feeds off that good energy. So congratulations to Christopher. Next, Jamie Carrillo, who is also a senior. Jamie's involved in theater. <laughs> He's a class counselor, the floral department. Community activities include being involved in peer advocates. He's the secretary of volunteers. He's been awarded the Bear Honor Award at school uh, every year. A certificate from the United States Army, Navy, and Air Force. Academic Achievement Awards, all four years at school. Uh, career goal is currently he's undecided about his major in college. Jamie Carrillo. Heck, Xavier Hector Garcia, senior. Xavier's a member of the football, wrestling, track, and lacrosse teams. Involved in future business leaders of America. His community activities including, uh, include being a unified sports helper. He's also received the Caught Being Excellent Award. Uh, he's been on the honor roll, Boys State Legion. His planned major career goals are uh, aerospace engineering and graphic design. He plans to enjoy a career and be the best at whatever he does. His favorite quotation, if man is not prepared for a chance, Chance will only make him look foolish. Be faithful to what exists within you. 
the person he admires the most is his mom's heart and how she struggles with every intent to get it back up and on her feet. She's the strongest woman I've ever seen. I also admire my father's kindness. Although the world may turn its back on him through hardships, he is the kindest man and a great father. Xavier Garcia. Rashawn Justin Golden, who's a junior. School activities include being a member of the chess club, the DECA, volunteers, student government. He volunteers as cashier at the school store. His plan major is business. And his favorite quotation, make tomorrow a better day. The person he admires the most is his father because he has taught him that hard work and diligence pays off. It's for Sean Justin Gold. <laughs> Lewis Ludman Lublin. Lubin, I'm sorry, Lewis. Senior. <laughs> School activities include the physics club, the cross country team, indoor and outdoor track and field. Community activities. He volunteers at the public library and apple rehabilitation. He's earned varsity letters in both cross country and track. He was voted the most improved runner last year and the most valuable runner this year. His plan major is culinary arts. His favorite quotation, every path has a puddle. People he admires the most is uncle and his mom because they are always there for him. They help him with every problem and they show, have shown him the right path. Louis Lubin. <laughs> Drexel Maurice, a junior. <laughs> Drexel is involved in cross, the cross country team in the school band. His community activities, he plays both drums uh, as well as basketball for Cavalry Church in Bridgeport. His goals. Uh, Drexel plans on becoming a doctor. His favorite quote, shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you will land among the stars. <laughs> and the person he admires the most is his father, who happens to be here today, uh, because he has shown the qualities of a great leader. And Drexel Maurice. Pong, who is a junior. George is involved in, with the soccer team as well as indoor track. He's received the Academic Achievement Awards in French for the past two years, electronics, algebra, geometry, and integrated science. He plans on becoming an electrical or mechanical engineer. The person he admires the most is his father because he helps him and gives him so much good advice. That's George O'Connell. <laughs> Finally, Howard Hendricks Powell, who is a junior. <laughs> Howard is involved in the theater workshop at West Haven High School, a member of the tennis team, volunteers, the children's theater, studio art, with community activities, he is involved in performances with the ch Children's Theater. Um, recognitions, he was a tennis team MVP this past year. He's received the Bear Honor Awards. His plan major is psychology. Howard's favorite quotation, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light will do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. From Martin Luther King Jr. the most is his mother. She inspires him every day to be great and to always do his best no matter what the endeavor may be. That's Howard Powell. Again, thank you Mrs. Brown and West Haven the Black Coalition and congratulations to these young men. Proud of you guys.
accomplishing what you